Hey, what's up, you two? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. In this episode, I'm going to tell you guys how many new investors actually lose money inside the stock market. I'm going to show you guys how you can actually become a, a better investor and how I became successful. Well, how I found how I found success inside the stock market. I'm not going to say I'm successful. I'm going to start tell you guys how I found success. Now, the biggest thing that many new investors do when they first start to invest, they just downloaded an app and invest app and they want to throw money inside the stock market or I'm not even going to say new investors. I'm going to say even experienced investors, what they do, the biggest thing that's killing them is FOMO, the fear of missing out, especially for new investors. You get in, you see the hot stock is performing very well. You heard of this company before and you go in, you're going to say, hey, I'm trying to flip this money. You're going to throw in $3,000 to try to turn it to $6,000. And then it's going to eventually crash and you're going to lose all your money. And then you're going to say this company, XYZ company, lost me this much money. When actuality it is a pretty doggone good company. It's just that you do not know how to value. You do not know how to value these companies at a good price. If it's going up, you think the, the stock market is doing awesome. You think this company is doing awesome. You're throwing your money, then it crashes. You lose, you lose all your money. If a, stock, if a good quality stock is falling, you're going to say, hey, that company stucks. I'm going to stay away from it. And then five years down the line, this company is actually doing amazing. And you missed out on a good opportunity. Now, the way that you can value these companies is there's many ways that you can value companies. And some of them, a lot of them are very hard to value. A lot of these strategies are confusing to value these companies. There's a lot of different ways that you have to look at the company's book sheets, their earnings reports, um, their future projections, their PE. There's, it's very confusing to new investors. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys one simple, I'm not saying it's a one off fix all. I'm going to show you guys this one simple indicator, this one strategy to help you value company at a quick look at an eye to show you if it's either overbought, oversold, overvalued, or undervalued. And you can check that out at the blink of an eye. That indicator is called the RSI indicator or the relative strength index. Now the relative strength index, RSI, is a momentum indicator used in technical analysis. The RS measures the speed and magnitude of a stock recent price changes to evaluate the overvalue and undervalue condition in the price of that stock. Now, typically speaking, anything over 70, I'm going to show you guys the chart. Typically speaking, anything over 70, that means this cap this company is overvalued or overbought. That means you're overpaying. Not, I'm not saying every single time. That means you're overpaying for this stock. According to the RSI indicator, according to the momentum indicator, the momentum of the stock market. And if it's under 30, that means this company is oversold. People are overreacting. Um, and you could get in and buy at a decent price. Now, the RSI indicator will only help you. It will only help you if you're looking at good quality stocks, not no penny stocks, not no Dogecoin, not no risky play that you're going to say, hey, this company is going to 50x next year once they drop this new release. No, we're only looking at good, solid quality companies on um, the two i'm going to bring you in this video is going to be nvidia which i'm pretty sure you guys have heard of over the last couple of weeks on how nvidia is completely doing the same right now and i'm going to bring you guys 3m to simple mmm but before we dive into all of that this video is brought to you and sponsored by a long-term sponsor of this channel moomoo with moomoo you can sign up now by clicking the link down in the description you sign up you deposit hundred dollars and you can receive up to 17 free stocks now no fractional shares you're receiving free stocks if you deposit 100 dollars and if you deposit even more than that you can have the opportunity to receive a free share of google or a free share of tesla now i've been using moomoo for a while they have all the indicators on there that i need in order to be a successful investor and they offer no commission on your trades that's right you could buy and sell stocks for free no commissions and you can also trade after market hours with that platform once again, I would like to thank today's sponsor of this video. I'm going to leave a link down in the description. You click that, you sign up, get some free stocks, guys. I've been using them for a while. They're long-term sponsor of this channel. If you guys want to help this channel out, make sure you click that in the subscribe button and the thumbs up button. That helps out this channel more than you can even imagine. But enough talking. Let's go ahead and dive straight into this video. 
Welcome back, dreamers. Now, I know I said we got two stocks. We got NVIDIA, BAM, and we got 3M, ticker symbol MMM. Now, NVIDIA is a good, solid company. I actually use them. I have the GPUs inside my computer. We use them inside our PlayStation 5s, our Xboxes. They make a lot of AI technology, cloud computing, good quality company. Like I said, guys, you only want to use this strategy on good quality companies. You don't want to use this on some new upcoming penny stocks that you can buy a thousand shares of for $10. You don't want to do that. You want to look at good quality companies. Now, NVIDIA over the last couple of months has just been, boom, skyrocketing. I'm not going to say what the price is right now. At the time of the recording of this video, it's been shooting up. Who knows when this video comes out, it could have actually pulled back a little bit, actually shot up even more. And that's where FOMO comes in, guys, because NVIDIA has been nothing but going up and up and up. Articles after articles after articles has been coming out about how NVIDIA is the next one. NVIDIA is the next one. NVIDIA is going to be, be doing big things, right? So that means it's in the news, it's in the markets, everyone's talking about it. The prices is going to go up and up and up. And new investors are going to go in, they're going to say, hey, I can't miss out on this wave. I can't miss out on NVIDIA. I need to buy shares now. And you could, not saying you are, but you could be overpaying for a good quality company. And you don't even know that you're overpaying for a good quality company because you don't know how to value a company. So I'm going to show you a quick tip. Look at the RSI indicator, the RSI index to see if you're actually overpaying for this company. And you want to think long term. The fear of missing out, you're thinking short term. You're going to say, dang, if I don't buy it now, I could miss out on NVIDIA. And I could probably never own this company. If that happens, oh, well. But the fear of missing out in you is telling you that you need to get in. And once you get in, you could be overpaying for a company. Uh, you could lose uh, your, your investment. Now, the other company is 3M, ticket symbol MMM. Now, MMM owns everything. They got duct tape, sticky notes, um, mask, anything that you can name, 3M probably produce it. Do not flake out on 3M. In fact, over the last, what, 60 something years, 3M is a dividend king. That means they haven't been increasing their dividends every single year for the last 50 years and it, in, it's inside of the S&P 500. There are not many companies that are dividend kings. 3M is one of those companies. Great, 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 great quality company. Low key, not in the news, not much is happening with them at all. But over the last couple of years, um, 3M has been pulling back. They have not been having the growth, growth that they have been having over the last 25 years. They have been pulling back and a new investor would go in and say, dang, 3M sucks. This company sucks. Yes, they have been increasing their dividends for X amount of time, but this company hasn't been making any money over the last five years. The stock has been going down. That's a company I want to stay away from. But smart investors is going to see it at a great value. How do we know it's at a great value? You don't know it's at, at a great value because you do not know how to value these companies. So let me go ahead and pull up Moomoo, the app, and show you guys how simple it is to see if a company is overvalued or undervalued. Okay, dreamers, here we are on Moomoo. Ticket symbol NVDA is NVIDIA. Right now, they're up to $387.70. At the recording of this video, I think they was up to like $420 just the other day. But here we go. If we scroll down, we're looking long term. Let's go to the one month chart and let's just zoom out a little bit. In fact, we can just keep it right there. Now, the way that we can find the RSI indicator is to scroll right here. You can have it set up to where it's automatically going to be on your charts, but I took it off just so you guys can see how to get to it. They have the volume, the MACD, the uh, DMA, and here we go, the RSI. You guys already know what the RSI indicator is, so let's click that right there, and bam, there it goes, guys. Let's go ahead and zoom out a little bit. Now, as you guys can see, every time the RSI indicator is up above 70. You can see right there on the bottom left, right around here on the left, you guys can see that it's above 70 around right here and the price decided to pull back. Now, when it pulled back, it got below 30. That means it was undervalued and the price decided to shoot all the way up. Once again, the last time that the price was above the 70 right here, it was above 70 and the price did what? The price pulled back all the way back in January, 2022. Remember, we're thinking long-term. We're not thinking about intraday. We're not thinking about what was the price yesterday. We're thinking long-term. This is for investors. This is not for day traders. This is not for swing traders. This is for investors to try to get as many stock shares as possible at a pretty decent price. Now, here we go. We're back. It's over 70 and the price pulled back. Now, a good time that you could have got in is when it all the way pulled all the way back to 30 uh, under 
beneath 30 when the price was around $119 per share, $120 per share. And now it went from $120 right here when the RSI was under 30. That's how you valuing these companies just from a quick glance. I'm not saying this is how you supposed to value a company. I'm just saying this is the quickest way to do it at a quick glance to see if it's overvalued or undervalued. And right there at $120, the stock market determined that Nvidia was undervalued. And then it has shot all the way back up to around $120 um early june and as you guys can see right now i mean i want you to let me know down in the comment section just from a quick glance right now looking at the rsi indicator is nvidia is is nvidia overvalued or undervalued let me know down in the comment section right now and then we could get right back to the video. So right now, if you, if you have the fear of missing out, are you how many shares of the video are you going to buy at this high price? It was just $120 at the beginning of the year. Now it's at $400. Is it overvalued or undervalued? And this is where a lot of new investors mess up because they have the fear of missing out. So let's go ahead and pull up the other stock, a good quality company, 3M. Okay, so here we are on 3M, right? 3M was up to $190 um, a couple of years ago at the all-time high, and it's just been falling ever since, right? So there was above 70 that was overvalued, and they've just been falling ever since over the last couple of years. Now, looking at a good quality company, I absolutely I love 3M. I'm not saying you have to love 3M. I use their products, and I know how their products work. So that's why I'm, I love 3M as a company. Do your own research. Do not follow me. But they've just been falling, falling, falling. And new investors will look at this and say, wow, they've just been pulling back. I'm good. I'm going to throw my money into something that's overvalued, that's high inside of the news right now. And then they're going to eventually, anything can happen, right? But just looking at 3M right now, looking at the RSI indicator right around here, it's underneath 30. Is it overvalued or undervalued? And would you begin a good price on 3M? If you was to look at them today, I'm not saying go buy them today, they could fall even more later in the future and you could get them for an even better price. That's what I'm saying. But is it overvalued or undervalued? And that's why I absolutely love um, the RSI indicator. That's why I love using Moomoo. It's very simple. Click of a button, you click it, everything works. And there we go, dreamers. I had to bring you guys um, a quick, because I, I, I got tired of seeing everyone invest into the hot stocks of the month, the hot stocks of the year, the hot stocks. And these hot stocks just kept going, the prices kept going up and new investors kept losing that money. This is a video that's gonna be evergreen. You could come back and watch this video whenever, five years down the line, 10 years down the line. The stuff that I'm saying is still going to make sense. I'm not talking about the stocks, the stuff that I'm saying is still gonna make sense. I didn't wanna make a video that's gonna talk about a hot stock right now, and then it's gonna be completely irrelevant next week, or completely irrelevant next month. I want to make a video that's gonna help you out overall as a person, as an investor, um, to further your investing um, journey that could help you become successful and financially free in the future. So once again, guys, I would like to thank today's sponsor of this video, Moomoo. Sign up with the link down in the description. You click that, get free stocks. That not no fractional shares. You're getting free stocks once you click that link down in the description. Up to 17 free stocks. Deposit $100. And also, if you guys want to check out my free ebook on how I earn passive income with dividends from dividend kings like 3M, check out the link down in the comment section or the pinned comment. That'll take you to my free ebook. It's completely free. Take you inside my mind. Then you guys can learn. Uh, at your own pace from that book. But other than that, guys, let me know what you think down in the comment section. What are some hot stocks right now that you think are overvalued? Let me know down in the comment section. And then in the comment section, let me know what are some some good, some good lockdown quality stocks inside of the stock market that isn't performing too well right now that you can see that it's at a decent value and can make a turnaround in the next 10, 15, 20 years. Let me know down in the comment section. I, I can't wait to check out your comments. I got time this summer, so I'm going to check out all those comments. Make sure that you reply down below. But other than that, guys, I'm Zeke, bringing you the Dream Green Show, and I'm out. Peace.